will show you how to install a heater into my Unimog 1300L ambulance. Uh, this uh, ex-military ambulance has its own uh, heater inside the box, but uh, I had to disassemble it. It's huge, it's old, it's noisy. It was in perfect conditions, but you know, I needed something else. In these uh, kind of you know, tracks, you have two options, air, directly uh, hit the air, or second, uh, hit the coolant and then hit the air. So the second option, uh, water waste, is more complicated, but uh, pretty much, in my case, it kills six birds with one stone. And uh, let's go one by one through all these, you know, uh, birds. <laughs> Number one, of course, I'm hitting the cabin with the uh, heat exchanger and air. Number two, I'm getting hot water because I have uh, a heat exchanger and boiler, uh, 15 liters of hot water, I'll show you later. Number three, I'm, I have an option to pre-warm, preheat the engine and I never start a cold engine anymore, so no smoke anymore. Even at plus five, these uh, kind of engines give you a lot of smoke, and I live in a residential area, it's really cool. Number four is that I have an option to heat the cabin inside in case someone sleeps there. I uh, use a regular, you know, uh, heater of the vehicle because it's the same system. And number five, I'm not losing energy when I'm driving, I'm using heat from the engine instead of radiating it to the, you know, atmosphere using a radiator, the coolant uh, heats my uh, heat exchanger, I'm getting hot uh, water for free and uh, I'm getting hot air inside the cabin as well. Okay, let us uh, let me show you how we build the system. So this is the heater, Ember Sparker uh, Hydronic D5WS, 5 kilowatt. So installed here, so we get some, do some welding. So you can see that coolant is coming from the engine. I have these two emergency valves. It's connected directly to uh, pretty much this inlet and outlet. And I have option to disable the engine heating if it's really cold at night. And I can disable it going to the cabin heater. Right, so here this heater is pretty smart engine. It has its own uh, water pump. It has its own uh, diesel supply, and it has its own electronics relay and uh, fuses. So this powered from the box with 24 volts, and the output is pretty much two. You see here two, uh, three. 38 inches um, hoses uh, in and out. I isolated them and they go uh, into the cabin. Okay, here it was I installed my 15 liters boiler, which exchange heat from the coolant into the fresh water. This is my two fresh water hoses and two coolant hoses. I found this space, it was not so easy that it looks like because I had to a little bit extend this support for my battery box. It was a hell of a welding job, but it's okay, it worked perfectly fine. The box is a little bit, maybe 20 centimeters here and pretty much it's not noticeable at all. If you look here, you see four hoses going into the cabin. So two in and out uh, for hot coolant. Why the ones? These ones. And two cold water and hot water back. Uh, I insulated them all together just in case if it's freezing outside that the water is not frozen. This device I bought in Germany. I put a link into the description. This is, I waited it for a long time. It's produced by a company, Elgena, Elgena, in Germany. So 
it's pretty simple here so it has safety valve and it has I install I just uh, put here like you know drain valve and it's pretty simple okay let's go into the cabin inside I'll show you the setup inside so this is my fresh water tank 130 liters and here it comes these four uh, hoses you saw I know that's packed very tight and next time I'm gonna do this I'm gonna think about you know access I put some inches here for quick access pretty much let me explain what's happening here so two hot water comes hot sorry coolant comes here in and out and it goes to this heat exchanger and this is my heater of the air uh, the second loop goes underneath this uh, fresh water tank again this is actually bird number six and I have an option to put some hot coolant underneath so that that fresh water is not gonna freeze if it's really minus 20 outside uh, here it's not interesting it's another story this is my fresh water system pump and um, the valves uh, here it's worth mentioning that it's not uh, so easy to uh, do to you know, to control the heater so how I build the system is that I have a one uh, switch for the heater so when I switch it on the heater starts and I have a separate um, system of the fan here which is controlled by a thermostat this and the 24 relay and this guy controls the temperature inside uh, the box but the heater itself his responsibility is just to keep coolant at 90 degrees or whatever uh, somewhere around 90 degrees and that's it so I have a thermostat system uh, regulation uh, air, 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 air temperature you know regulation here and uh, otherwise there is no way to I couldn't find a way to, the, the heater reverse packer is not able to do this in this configuration okay let's uh, see how the system works first you need to start the heater so hopefully we will see how fuel pump starts working you can hear it from here and then you switch the fan oops nothing is working uh oh it's because of oh you see fan starts working but it's cold because it takes time to start the heater okay let's see if the heater is working so here you can see that the pump is working you can see a little bit vibration here and the coolant is circulating oh by the way I'm using the um, extension uh, right standard extension I don't have to build anything else it's not a plus and the heater itself has its own exhaust and it's working now as you can hear so in a minute or two the coolant will be 90 degrees and we're gonna get the heat so this is the intake of the heater probably I should put it like a here anyway that's our design